Give me a place to stand and I shall move the earth. These are not words of some Olympic champion, but those of the mathematician Archimedes describing the fundamental principle behind lever, which relies to one of the most basic laws of physics. First, let us discover what the lever is. The lever is a simple and a basic form of a machine. Levers have passing flows with lesser inputs. Even though this looks very simple, there are many things going on in order to lift the object easily. What if I told you that you have understand this concept since your childhood, that as a child of 4 years old, you perfectly applied the principle of lever? This might sound weird, but let me explain. Do you remember the seesaw or the tiller toddler? One of the best examples to understand it. Let's say that you and your best friend decided to hop on. If we take that you both weigh about the same, you can toddler back and forth easily. Let's now take that your father decided to play with you and took the place of your best friend. So we just move back on the seesaw and down you go. This may seem very inward, but what you are actually doing is using a lever to lift your father who is too heavy. Every lever consists of three main components. The load is the object you are lifting, the fulcrum is the point at which the lever pivots, and the input is the force applied to make the object move. In this case, you represent the effort and your father the resistance of. Archimedes observed that there is an important relationship between the magnitudes of these forces and their distance from the fulcrum. So, a lever pivots when the product of the resistance force and the length of the resistance arm equal the product of the equal force and the length of the equal arm. So, if your father weighs three times your weight, all you need is to set three times as far as him from the fulcrum. And what about Archimedes' famous code? By the same token, and because it's science, of course it's possible. The Earth weighs 6 times 10 to the 24th power kilograms. If we take the Moon, that's about 384,400 kilometers away as a fulcrum, all we need is a lever of about a quadrillion light years. Levers are classified into three categories depending on the relative position of the load, the fulcrum, and the force. The first class lever is where the fulcrum is in between the e fold and the load. The second class lever is where the load is between the fulcrum and the e fold. And the third class lever is where the e fold is between the fulcrum and the load. So, for a simple machine, lever is capable of some incredible things. Thank you for watching, and next time you're using a lever, try to do it correctly. And always remember, as Albert Einstein said, the most important thing is to never stop questioning.